Where were Kwesi, formerly dead body? Yes, I know. Dead body. Dead body. Dead body still. Yeah. Oh, so we can still call you dead body. Yeah, you can call me the dead body. Ah. I thought you said you changed it to Kwesi. Chale, you know me, you know, like, I tried the, the Kwesi thing, but my fans, when I go on stage, they keep screaming the dead body, so I had to do away with the Kwesi. Me see my bread, okay, dead body it is. But come to think of it, dead body, yeah. <laughs> when they call you that, how does that make? Because it, I, I'm sure it has a meaning. Um, You know, the dead is D-E-D. -E dedicated and the buddy is b-u-d-d-y -D -D so it's dedicated friend but i like the sound of a dead buddy because it's, it scares people but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right, tell us you have been in the music industry way back and you're still in it yeah. tell us what's the difference between the music industry way back and that of the one that we are in now i mean honestly quite honestly like you know i, I would say I, I i have a few people i could give shout outs to who have a, a, enormous respect um because they see what started, they saw what started, and then they followed up on it. I um, mean, I can name names, you know, but it will be. I just want to say, there's a lot of disrespect now. We didn't have that. We didn't have that before. Like not back then, we were together. You know, we would go to a show, VIP. You see VIP performing with Dead Body. Like we were together. Now, there's nothing like that in this industry. It's all about selfishness and like you know by Biden and all that instead meanwhile we're supposed to be together we're not doing that um, on the other hand I would say you know the artists now they have no respect for the, the veteran like people that actually told for this industry I mean and even it comes up to you may call an artist like hey you know what I love the way you sound I want to do a track with you and then they, they start tossing you like at the end of the day look you are nobody we all know bodies. We're just trying to be in this industry, like industry to build something good for everybody. And you know, I would say I, I, I pay a lot of respect. I give a lot of respect to these new kids that are like out now. Like, you know, I can mention it like Kitty, Kerr Songs, you know, Kwame Eugene. Like these guys, like, you know, I've met them and then the love and respect they show us makes us feel good. But I mean, you have mentioned the good, the ones who show, but do you know those who kind of you feel that have disrespected no. some of the veterans? I mean, I, I'll tell you right now, me personally, there's nobody in this industry that I haven't even called out like, yo, I want to do a feature with you. And then they keep turning around, giving us stories. They t tell my manager stories like, oh, Charlie, and then they ignore you. But I mean, I'll put it out there, you know, feature, dead body does not need features. You get what I'm saying? It's just... A level of respect I give you to the artist by even coming to you to try to do a feature I give you a respect for that you want to mention names no, I don't even want to mention it but I'll put it out there I, because when I came back into the industry people were telling me oh do features and I told them I'm not for features but then my fans wanted me to do a feature so I'm like you know what I'll try it but my bread you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, in a way, it's a level of disrespect to the, the OGs. And it's not just me. I have friends who I started this industry, like we started the industry, and now they also go through the same thing I'm going through. But you know what? At the end of the day, talent is God-given. And, and I, I appreciate God for giving me my talent. And I would say, if you know Dead Body back then, Dead Body is way over now. Like, it's... It's crazier now. The talent is crazy. So I'll keep doing it. But all I want to say is like the level of respect is not there. So I only I even commend these young uh, like young guys coming up now for showing that level of respect. You get what I'm saying? There are people out there who have the respect, but sometimes some of them show it and it's fake. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I'm not afraid of nobody. You get what I'm saying? But there's a lot of fakeness in this industry that has to stop. You know, because we, we, like back then you would see Reggie Rockstone, you would see VIP, you would see Dead Body, you would see NFL, everybody was together. Obrafo, everybody was together. Tic Tac, we were all together. But now, why can't we have that in this industry? It's because people are selfish, everybody for themselves. And so, that's what's going on now. All right. Are you a fan of Shatawale? Yeah, I'm a fan of Shatawale. Shatawale is an OG from back then. Okay, what do you make of him? Because if he's an OG from back then, I mean, he's a, he's a new person too, still on the block. What do you make of his music and his personality and the kind of per music he puts out there? I mean, Shatawale, I'll tell you right now, Shatawale has been an industry guy. Like, he's been a person out there in the industry from way back. He's doing what he has to do. 
to survive in this industry. And I'll kid you not, when I came back in 2012, right, I released Yabesa, I saw, you know, I saw Shatawale once and the love was the same like before. The respect is there. You get what I'm saying? But with them, like, you know, he's doing what the people need to hear now. It's an art form. So people cannot knock him down for what he's doing. It's an entertainment thing. So if he's doing it, I don't knock him down for that. He's doing what he has to do to survive in this industry, and that's what everybody has to do. By attacking some of his colleague musicians? Um, I mean, you know, with that, he's not right for doing that. You get what I'm saying? That's not right. Like, we, we all, like, he has his mind to say. And you know, you know, Shata wants to make the news. It's all good. But then it's not the right way to go about it. For me, I, wouldn't, I would not knock down my fellow me. I would not knock down Shata, because I believe in what he's doing. He's a great person. And at the end of the day, let me tell you something. We may say whatever we want to say, but when it comes down to it, that guy has a good heart. Entertainment, it's show business. You show for people to tell, and that's what he's doing. He's, he's, feeding, what, he's feeding people what they want to hear. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I respect his art, and I respect what he's doing. I mean, I, the only thing I would say is he shouldn't bash at a, like other arts. Like, because everybody's trying to make you know, um, put in their game and get everything strong. But th that's my only thing for me. Don't bash other artists because, you know, Charlie, we all trying to struggle in this game. It's a tough industry. He knows it. You know, he was here. Nobody was paying him no mind. But then when he took off, that's it. So I respect him for that. All right. Now tell me, dead buddy, so what are you up to? What's up with you in terms of music? Ah, music, music, music. Okay, so Dead Body just dropped a new single. You know, I decided to come back, go back to my old three ways, you know. So I released, uh, I just released actually yesterday um, my new single, which is um, Senua. You know, everybody remembers that song. Senua, de de de. Yeah, you know, it's like, a, it's a love song that tells, um, my, I'm just trying to tell a girl that come to, come to a, a man with good love you know so that's that's my say noir right there so it's a new track it's out it's a, it's a good it, it has good feedback everybody loves it so uh, you know I'm, you have a video for it yet yeah? um not yet but it's going to drop very soon like by next week the video should be out okay so check out that song from dead buddies a new one say new one so as you heard it he was in alright so you might want to look out and once the video is also ready we can all put all of that out for you we support your music and we are looking forward to the best nah, for you and I just want to say you know big shout out to my godfather Uncle Kwesi Chum always been there for me I mean I know there were times he wanted to ask me questions and he knows what I'm talking about but I just want to say I appreciate you for everything you've done for me and always being there for the Ghanaian artist because he's always been there for us. Right. I know that. Yeah, All so right. yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you, beautiful. I want fair.